you're probably new here, so I won't hold it against you for not knowing. Not knowing that we're making a medical device that's going to change the fabric of society as we know it. Johnson & Johnson already offered me 50 mil for it. But that's nothing. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be combining heat and massage in one device. And listen, I know what you're thinking. No, how can you combine both heat and massage into one device? That's freaking impossible. But you're only thinking that because you're not as smart as I am. Because I'm not only going to combine the two most relaxing forces in the universe into one device, I'm going to combine the two most relaxing forces in the universe into one device that fits in the palm of your freaking hand. And all jokes aside, I really am excited about making something even as simple as a heat massage pen because it solves such a big problem in my own life and a lot of other people's lives too, which is jaw pain relief. And to fund it, I really wanted to use Kickstarter. I know the user better than anyone, and I feel like people would be really excited to have some kind of way to have at-home therapy for their TMJ. But apparently, Kickstarter had some other thoughts for me. Now, to be fair, before I submitted, I did know that Kickstarter had a policy against allowing medical devices on the platform. But, doing a little research and scrolling through, I found way too many counterexamples to take them at their word. Look at all of these massage guns, or this neck pain relief thing, or this inhaler, or all these products claiming relief. So many of them actual registered medical devices. All of them allowed on the platform. So I thought that if I just copied their language and said things like, my heating massage pen helps relieve and relax instead of treat and cure, then I would have the same treatment and be allowed on Kickstarter. But unfortunately, I was wrong. I could not tell you what the other companies did to be allowed on, but Kickstarter is rejecting my project and isn't telling me what exactly warrants my rejection compared to all of the other project's approvals. I brought up all the other counterexamples to customer support, and they literally just ghosted me. So what options am I left with? I got two in my mind. Either one, settle for Indiegogo, or two, run a whole crowdfunding campaign on our own website. And spoiler alert, I ain't settling. Basically, there are a few reasons. First of all, an important thing to realize about crowdfunding is that 99% of the time, it is your job to drive all the traffic to your crowdfunding campaign. Only when you do a good enough job with that will you get the boost from the platform itself like Kickstarter Indiegogo from all the people visiting their website to find your campaign organically. The reason I wanted to do Kickstarter in the first place is because I think their platform is so big that there is a ton of upside in all of its users coming and finding my product. Indiegogo on the other hand is a lot smaller, has a lot less traffic, and is a little bit less trusted than Kickstarter. So that 5% fee that Indiegogo takes out is a lot less value than the 5% that Kickstarter takes out. On top of that, if I'm going to be driving website traffic through PR and advertising, then it would be a lot more beneficial for me to have that traffic going to my own website where the users can interact with my blogs, my exercises, and just the brand in general. It also doesn't hurt SEO and getting my website ranked higher in Google searches. So it's still kind of a work in progress because I haven't really loaded up on all the product photography and videography that I can, but this is a basic layout for my landing page. I'll admit, I don't really know how to run a crowdfunding campaign on my own website. So my plan is just to be as transparent as possible about everything from engineering to business development and hope that people realize it's not some sort of scam. Obviously, this YouTube channel is actually a huge part of that. So subscribe to make me seem more trustworthy. See ya.